Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, May 25th. End of May. Holy moly. Boy, is time ever flying. Wow, May 25th. Year's almost half over. June's the sixth month. Son of a bitch. Wow. Crazy. Crazy how time is flying. You never know, you know. You never know. I mean, God, time flies fast. Before you know it, we'll be old, all of us. May 25th. What? needs to come up for Friday, May 25th. Don't take things for granted. You never know what tomorrow brings or doesn't bring, you know? Don't be wasting your time. <laughs> you know, that... I mean, hey, that's what the card means. Somebody has been wasting their time. Funny how those messages come up before I even pull the card. It's not funny, right? Because I believe. I believe. I'm grateful for these gifts. And they, they just keep giving them to me. It's, it, you know, somebody has been through a difficult period, but that... But, that's over, okay? The difficulty, you should be starting to feel some relief, okay? I think it's the end. I feel like you're starting to see the light. You may be going through some sort of recovery. I think the truth is being realized. You're realizing the truth that you've been wasting your time, okay? So really, it's like starting to have faith again. Faith in the future, seriously. Oh my gosh, another five. Major life choices. Somebody is making major life choices and major life changes. Major. Hence the word major. I mean, it really looks good. Their relief is here. Relief is coming. This is a card of relief in the, in the reversed. These cards are both better in reversed. These two, the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands. You know, and it's funny, I've been watching other readers and a lot of them don't do reversals. It doesn't mean that, that their readings are incorrect because the messages come through channeling. The cards are just a tool, okay? For me, I like to use reversals. But anyway, somebody is coming out of a difficult period and it looks like they have realized that they've been wasting their time. It's like, I'm not going to take my life for granted anymore. I am not getting any younger. That message came out for a reason at the beginning. For this five of wands, it's like reverse. It's like you may have been reluctant to accept this truth or see this truth. But I think right at this point, it's undeniable. Okay. Yeah, it's time to do the right thing. It's time for justice to be served. It's time to be honest with yourself. This is the justice card. You know, it's time to bring the balance back to your life. Some of you have been seeking balance and equality. And now I think that you are probably making a decision to stop wasting your time. Because you're sick of it. You don't want to be discontent. You don't want to be bored. You're looking for something more. I'm looking for something more. I'm looking for emotional contentment. I have a lot to offer. And I have... No desire... To 
to be unbalanced in this situation anymore. Somebody has been unbalanced and they want this balance back. Therefore, they are going to stop wasting their time on the hurt, the loss, the emotional disappointments that have plagued them. No longer going to compete or play games. I want balance. I want justice. I have to be honest with myself and you because I'm looking for more. Yeah, somebody has restored hope. There is a lot of hope here. There's a lot of hope and faith. There is for the future. It's like I'm going through a renewal right now. And I'm talking to you. Somebody is going through some sort of healing, renewal. Um, they have a lot of hope for the future. Renewed hope. That's what it is. And I feel like they're, whoever this is for is willing to work on it. I am willing to put in all the effort it takes to get to a better place. And accept the reality of the of what happened. Reality is being accepted here. There's no more denial. It's like I said, it's undeniable. Somebody is no longer living in denial. They are doing the right thing. The being honest with themselves about a situation. It's like I and they're feeling hopeful. Hopeful for the future. Releasing somebody is releasing an obsession. And no longer going to act impulsively. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down. And not let greed and obsessiveness and dishonesty and confusion. And conflict and competition and emotional disappointment and hurt stand in my way. Somebody has decided to be hopeful for the future and not let any of that crap I just named off get in the way anymore. It's time for my justice. It's time for justice. It's time for equality. Somebody is, is moving forward very, very graciously. Okay? It's just, it's very peaceful. It's very serene. Gentle. It really is. It's like, I feel good with this release, whatever it is. And what you're releasing, somebody is releasing the past hurts, basically. Mistakes. Accepting them. I accept what happened. I accept the reality of the truth of a situation. I accept the truth. I see the truth. I see the reality of this. And I'm not going to stay stuck in this situation anymore because the reality is the reality and I see the reality and somebody has to do the right thing and it's going to be me because I know that there's something more. So I feel like today is a day of wish fulfillment because somebody sees the truth and they take action to release a situation that was that came about impulsively. And and impulsively and and for the wrong reasons, put it that way. I don't even know if this is zoomed in. That's how, oh, well, that's not bad. So anyway, my camera is about to die, so if this ends, I apologize. Somebody is no longer wanting to waste their time in a situation that is over. And they have renewed faith for the future. So my advice to you for today is to do the right thing for you. Make the final decision. One, This is a card of karma. 
One karmic cycle in your life is over. That debt has been paid. Congratulations. Wish fulfillment is right ahead of you. Talk to you later.